What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalia, also known as Chef Radakova, and today we'll be talking about another molecular gastronomy ingredient. We'll be talking about lecithin. Lecithin is the mixture of phospholipids or fats that is extracted from animal or plant sources. And there are lots of types of lecithin that's available to us. We have soy lecithin, we have sunflower lecithin, we have egg lecithin, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And we also have powdered and liquid lecithins. But in this specific video, we're going to discuss powdered soy lecithin, which is more available to us. The main property of soy lecithin that enables us to use it in cooking is that it's amphiphilic, which basically means that it loves both water and fats and it can marry them together. Due to this property, there are numerous applications of soy lecithin when it comes to cooking. You can use it in baking because it captures the moisture inside the baked products and therefore increases the shelf life. You can use it in confectionery when you work with chocolates and many more applications. But today I'm going to show you one, probably the most important application of soy lecithin uh, when we use it for emulsification and one probably the most fun <laughs> application when we use it uh, to make edible airs and bubbly foams. Okay, it's been a lot of talking right now, but I just need to say a few more words to you before we start cooking. So let's first look at the first application, emulsification. When cooks usually think about emulsions, they think about mayo, vinaigrette, hollandaise and other sauces. And that's correct. But let's look at the first two now. Look at mayo and vinaigrette. Both are emulsions, but one is more stable than another one. I'm talking about mayo. <laughs> Why do you think mayo is more stable? Because of the eggs. Eggs, they have lecithin inside. So all the sauces that are based on eggs, they would be more relatively stable than the ones without them. And if you want to make your sauce, your emulsion more stable, you can also use uh, lecithin. And if you want to make your sauce or emulsion more stable, but you don't want to add the eggy texture and um, taste, you can use soy lecithin, for example. And that's what we're going to do right now. And on another note, before we start, if you want to make your emulsions even more stable and prolong their shelf life, so in, ca in case of mayo, for example, where you already have uh, lecithin, you can use not one, but two or three emulsifiers. So for this recipe, we're going to use soy lecithin and xanthan gum. And that's how you make a super stable vinaigrette that will stay without splitting for days. And while I was actually making this video, I noticed that I forgot to tell you why do we use both of these emulsifiers, why we use both soy lecithin and xanthan gum. Those are two different emulsifiers and they act in two different ways in this recipe. So lecithin keeps the water and fat molecules together and xanthan gum, it thickens a little bit the mixture. As you notice, the amount is very, very small, so it's not really noticeable. But on the molecular level, it is noticeable. It thickens the mixture and allows fatty molecules to move very slowly inside the water molecules so they don't come back together and separate in the mixture. I hope it's uh, understandable. <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to write a little bit more in my uh, blog, so make sure to check it out. And now, after all this theory, it's time to have some fun. We're going to make some modernist, bubbly, edible foams. I already actually made a couple of videos on this subject, and you can check here if you want to learn more about edible foams. But now, let's start cooking.
Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned a little bit more about soy lecithin, what it is and what it does. And most importantly, I really hope that it gave you some ideas how you can use soy lecithin in your own cooking and how you can make some incredible dishes, which, by the way, don't forget to share with me because I really like to see your pictures. I'll be making more uh, videos on uh, culinary forms in the future, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And I'll see you in the next video.